nawe mungu nitembe nawe mungu ali tembe aeno mkono wangu shike Oh, 
Thank you a lot for loving us. Thank you for the love and peace. Father, as we are not standing on this, we pray we get together as we are as we are one. I pray we shall pray a blessing and trust in Jesus' name. Amen. <coughs> kibali ya asubuhi ya leo tuweze kukusanyika kama watu wa jamii moja yes so that uh, tuweze ku tukuza Mungu kushukuru Mungu it's been a wonderful week na nafasi nyingine tena tukusanyika if i may ask did we meet last sunday wakati <laughs> Tutaka kuingia katika neno fupi tuweze kututia moyo kwa siku ya leo na kwa kila siku ya maisha yetu ili katika hii safari ya wokovu <coughs> tuweze kutiwa nguvu kila wakati we need strength all the time amen <coughs> uh, before we get into the word maybe we can sing this song <coughs> number 41 tuingie Safiri utupe kusikia sauti ya upole msafiri Thank you. 
mtu ametulia amani na upendo na afya ya kipekee baba tukaweza kuona kama siku ya leo baba hata tukaweza kupatikana katika mkutano huu siku ya leo baba tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya siku hiyo umepita umetulinda bwana Mungu umetukia baba na jehova tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya jamii zetu wote bwana tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya kikundi cha kiafiki leo bwana ambao baba Mungu umetujalia kwa nguvu na neema ya kipekee baba kila jumla kile tunapopanda tunakutana jehova na kuwa wakati wetu baba siku ya leo tunajalia neema baba Mungu tunaomba kusikia watu pekee baba tunaomba baba nasikia na sikia neno lako na moyo wao ifadhi neno lako ni baba katika maisha yetu ya kila siku baba tuweze kutambua na kufahamu kwamba neno lako ndio uhai baba tubariki na jehova kwa njia ya pekee baba tuweze kusikia neno lako baba na tuweze kuletea ufalme wa utukufu na sifa ya jina lako katika jina la Yesu Kristo na neno lako amen Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Tunamshukuru Mungu kwa siku kama hii ya leo. Sisi hatuko wema zaidi ya wengine ambao hawangeweza kupatikana katika mkutano kama kama huu leo. Ama labda ya shughuli moja au nyingine imeweza kuwazuia kuweza kufika katika mkutano huu. Kwa yote tunasema ni asante. Na leo tunaenda kushiriki neno kwa ufupi. Eh, tunaongea kuhusu relationship kuna kila aina ya relationship kuna ile relationship kati ya mke na mume kuna relationship kati ya baba na watoto wake mama na watoto wake kuna relationship ya wazazi na watoto hata ya majirani zote ni relationships. Eh? Lakini ile relationship kubwa ambayo tutaongea leo ni kuhusu relationship our relationship with Christ our savior. Yes. And uh, there are some relationships that, that you don't have a choice. Lazima tu kwa mtakuwa na hiyo relationship like you don't have a choice to relate with your father, relate with your mother. You know but uh, to some extent you can have a choice of relating with your spouse because kuna wengine they don't relate well. and in the same manner you also have a relationship to relate with Christ Jesus amen yeah. um, because tuna uh, biblia inatueleza kwamba kwa sababu ya upendo wake Mungu kwa eh, kwetu sisi akamtoa mwana wake wa kipekee yeyote yule ambaye atamkubali. So we have a choice. Eh? Tuko na tuko na choice ni sawa. Uchaguzi. Tuko na uchaguzi kumpokea huyu Yesu ama kutompokea huyu Yesu. Lakini kwa sababu eh, umekaa chini ukatafakari, ukajiuliza, ukaona labda uka, uka, uka relate na how this Christ does to other people how this Christ when he comes into a person's life how that person life in a change in a kuwa better you would want to relate with Christ you can be preached to then you relate to Christ you can just look at somebody because we believe that we in fact we are the we are the sermon yeah we are the letters eh to be read so unaweza ona ah mama hizo huyu eh ningependa ku relate with the Christ that he is she is relating with so when we choose to relate with Christ kuna pia terms that we have to walk with this we have to to to, to follow ama to adhere to so that our relationship with Christ can be of benefit to us Sindio. Yeah, because you can relate with somebody like when you relate with your spouse in a negative way, one of you ataumia. 
Your relationship haita kuwa mzuri. Watoto wanapo they don't relate with the parents well. Mzazi akikwambia don't do this, don't do that. Na wewe hausikii na hauti. Ah uh, consequences ziko. And uh, kwa hayo yote tunasema kwamba eh, ili tuweze kuwa na relationship na Mungu inatubidi tu tu tufuate maagizo ya Mungu. Yaani our God is so is, a, is simple his terms are simple and his terms are also not really simple mimi wanasema ku relate na Mungu ni vile utataka ikuwe tu ngumu ama utataka iwe rai iwe raisi ni ku relate tu na kwa sababu for example if i want to go to the farm na ni tayari nishabeba jembe na sema ai nichiwa ni kali na leo hii ndongo ni kama iko nzito will i really go and do something sitafanya chochote e, kwa sababu mindset yangu tayari ishachoka so when you want to relate to Christ na already unasema ah hii kazi ya Yesu ni ngumu ku relate na Yesu ni ngumu hautafaulu hmm? kusema kazi ya Yesu ni ngumu hautafaulu so tunapokuwa na relationship na Mungu tunasema kwamba We, 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 we will say that it is easy because he will give us rules and i always say that kama kuna mtu alifaulu kwa kufuata hizi maagizo kwa nini mimi sasa kuna yule ambaye atanitia nguvu na ni yeye mwenyewe mwenyewe hizo ushauri atakaye nitia nguvu atakaye nitia nguvu so when we are talking about relationship we want to read the book of uh, songs of solomon uh, cha, uh, chapter 2 verse 15. As we know the songs of Solomon the book of um, songs of Solomon is about love love affairs and everything. Yes. Nani hapo pale ili aweze kusoma? Chapter 2 verse 15. Let's see. Take us the foxes the little foxes that spoil the vines for vines have, have tender grapes yes kitabu cha solomon kinatuambia kwamba catch us the foxes the little foxes that spoil the vines for our vines have tender grapes huyu mwandishi anaongea kuhusu foxes sio anitoje kwa Kiswahili lakini umbo wa mwitu wale ndio wale wana wana ni umbo wa mwitu wale wanaoharibu mimea si ndio in fact they normally spoil when they are, you know they are tender like ninakumbuka uh, kule nyumbani ilikuwa tukipanda tukipanda tukienda yani maragwe ya kipando unapata kuku wanaofungiwa ndio wasiende kuharibu si ndio wanaenda kuchokora wasiharibu so unapata kwamba these foxes they all they they wait for that vine yeah that is tender that ambayo iko karibu unajua kuna wakati ambapo inafika mahindi imefika mali fulani unasema sasa mvua isi ikome kwanza ndio mahindi ikue kwa sababu unapata mahindi mvua ikinyesha mingi sana itaharibu so wala, wale hawa foxes huwa wanangoja wakati imekuwa sasa ni kama inaenda kuwa tayari mazao yangu inaenda kuwa tayari ndio wanakuja ku kuharibu we are talking about our relationship with Christ imagine you have walked with Christ you have really walked with Christ this far then foxes are coming kuna tutabia tudogo tudogo tutakuja kwa sababu sasa hii these little foxes in a relationship ama hizo tabia ndogo ndogo in a relationship they will always come kwa sababu tumezoeana sasa. Sasa hii mazoea na Yesu tuache. Yaani let us take Jesus as new every day. Tusizoee huyu Yesu. Kwa sababu tukizoea huyu Yesu tutazoea ah, hata nikifanya makosa kidogo, you know. Tushazoeana. Na 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 akisha tuonya kwamba tuweze kuwa wale wa kudumu katika maombi kila wakati na unaona asilimia dumu kwa hiyo maombi like for two, three years unasema ah nishazoea you know i'm now used to prayers unaona ni kama umezoea lakini unasahau kwamba 
kila siku ni a new day a new beginning yes na yule shetani muovu huwa hachoki kukutafuta kila siku ana mipango mipya ili anataka kukuharibu kila siku ana mipango mpya kutaka kuharibu so it is us to ask what are these foxes that can spoil our relationship with Christ that we should not allow them to come in between us and Christ mm. and we will only be firm if we don't get used to Christ tusizoe Yesu tusizoe woko tusizoe el at times naona we go to church because it is sabbath yani we make it mazoea formality formality mm-hmm. eh yeah? tunaeka ni mazoea eh yeah? yani tusiwe watu wa kuzoea eh yeah? let us let us look forward for something new <coughs> every day for something new in this relationship so that this relationship can be sweet and sweet every day mm-hmm. eh yeah? Yaani you, you you make it sweet and sweet every day. Ukiongelea watu wengine we, wenye umezoeana kwa kwa ndoa. Anakwambia ah squeeze ni shamzoea. You know he starts having some tutabias. We were married yes and he used to come home straight from work. Ama if he has some engagement he will just call and say unajua leo sitafika saa fulani nita nitapitia mahali fulani. And then you're like maybe 3 4 years down the line in this marriage you're like ah kwani ni lazima nimwambi eh yeah. tutabia tungine tumeanza kuku kukuja ni kwa nini kwa sababu nishazoeana na huyo mtu but that one is the one that now spoils mm-hmm. you, you even you as a wife you could take care of your husband utamwoshea nguo utamwandalia hata viatu utamwandalia sasa unaona ti watoto wamekuja unaanza kuacha shughuli zingine na usisahau kwamba hii ndio kitu alikuwa ame amezoea hivi ndio unafanya alafu unaanza kwa ah, si anaweza fanya peke yake no let us have that tendency of kudumu katika ukristo kudumu katika wokovu vile Yesu Kristo anataka tu tudumu ndio tusiharibu uhusiano wetu na huyu Yesu yes. any given relationship let us uh, maintain those terms and conditions so that we don't spoil this relationship because when the foxes are coming we don't see them si kwa tunaamka tunapata walisharibu the same way do this habits when they try to spoil our relationship they will not knock at the door and say we are coming in we are coming in i always say that you know the bible has recorded jesus is the one who normally knocks at our hearts he wants to enter but Shetani amekuwa described ni mwizi. Hakuna siku mwizi atabisha. Ati nimeingia hapa nimekuja kukuibia. Him he will just eh, yani ataji atajiingiza tu. Mm. So the same way with these foxes, they will just come. And by the time you realize they are they have spoiled you, you already spoiled. Mm. So let us be alert, let us always be sober. Mm-hmm. Let us always be vigilant. Yeah, so that we know this now is a fox. Mm-hmm. And they don't come they will when they come you don't know they're coming to spy. They come even through friends. Mm-hmm. They come even through your parents. They come even through your pastor. They are human beings. They come even through that you know good friend that you you really trust. really trust. Hm? Mm-hmm. There was a case that uh, I, I I had to get involved because unapata there, there was a couple this couple their relationship is really hitting the rock is really, I'm like what what is wrong and whoever was bringing a problem was just the best couple yes the best man was the one who was really talking so carelessly unajua ana anaambia watu so and some say maybe you know you know the groom has said this this I'm like you don't trust your best couple is just a human being you know na yeye alikuwa anaenda kuharibu hii hii marriage and he didn't care actually i don't know if he knew that he's really spoiling yes so you be careful not everybody you don't just get used to everybody like ah the sour and everything you know they are, they can be the little foxes hmm? they can be the ones who have been